Next week's annual Fed Symposium in Jackson Hole comes at an uncertain time for the market and the economy as questions linger about whether or not the Fed really has inflation under control and if rate hikes are really on pause. Joining us now is Tim Dewey, SGH Macro Advisors Chief U.S. Economist. Tim, it's great to have you back on. What do you think? Is the Fed on pause or, or, or done? I think the Fed would like to think they're on pause. I think the problem for the Fed is that the growth forecast is going to come in higher than they expected. Uh, and it's going to leave them less confident that the disinflation that we're seeing in the economy right now is going to be able to be sustained into 2024. I mean, we've already heard some prospective soft landing commentary from certain Fed officials in, in, in recent weeks expectation about how Chair Powell is going to thread the needle between, as you mentioned, the resilient uh, economic data that we've been getting and the fact that inflation does seem to still be, well, is still higher than where the Fed would like to see it. Right. Um, so, you know, when I when I look at the, the options for Powell uh, this week, what, what, what strikes me is it's not very clear that they have to say anything to dramatically change market expectations. Uh, the market has you know, 10 basis points priced in uh, roughly for um, further rate hikes. So uh, it doesn't have fully priced in another rate hike, which would be consistent with the story that we're getting out of the um, uh, SEP and we're getting out of Fed speakers that maybe there's still more to be done. Uh, and, you know, there's rate cuts priced in for next year, which is consistent with the SEP. And I don't know that we could say yes or no. Those things are definitely going to happen or not going to happen at this point. So I, I think that market pricing is actually pr pretty well aligned with the Fed right now. And so Paul can really kind of continue with much of the story that uh, Fed, Fed speakers have been have been discussing. And that's, you know, we might be near the top. Uh, we're becoming more confident that inflation is going to be on a trajectory we're, we're, we're hoping for. We're becoming a little bit more cognizant of dual risks to both sides of the mandate. Um, but at the same time, um, I, I do think that they have to you know, account for the fact that growth does look like it's coming in quite a bit stronger than implied uh, in the last um, summary of economic projections. And I, I think what they believed at, at the July FOMC meeting. Okay. I'm going to ask a little bit of a contrarian question because we know disinflation okay. is afoot right now. But, I mean, you look at something like real estate, for example, commercial real estate. If you see those prices start to fall and fall dramatically or other, or other types of assets or, or parts, of the, parts of the market from a price standpoint, do we, are, are we closer to the possibility of deflation than we realize? I I don't think we're we're, we're close to a, a deflationary disinflationary deflationary episode. Um, uh, certainly, there are parts of uh, you know parts of the market that, like you mentioned, CRE that currently could you know experience some price declines here, uh, given the fact that you know nobody's going to the office as much as they used to. So so there that that's different though than sort of general you know economy wide um, mm -hmm. uh, deflation. Uh, I I think that really. The, the stage is set for not, you know, not going too far below two percent. In fact, I think, you know, I would not be too. Um, uh, um, I, I'm not as optimistic about the inflation outlook as, as maybe you know the, the market is. Um, yeah. I think you've got plenty of room really to see some firmer inflation numbers later in 2024. 